How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Uh, a little bit different here. I wanted to do a video kind of answering some questions from my Patreon. I don't know if I'll put this up on the main channel or the second channel, maybe both, who knows. But uh, I want to cover some questions. First of all, let's take a look. And I, I just put up a video. So um, I talked about a stock that Chamath was selling. Definitely check that video out if you haven't already. But take a look at some of these deals. I've been buying all throughout the day and better deals just keep on coming up. So I know it's it's difficult if you don't have money. If you do have money, it's awesome right now. There's so many things on sale. Clean Spark at eighteen dollars. Charge Point under twenty. Uh, Neo at thirty two. We haven't seen Neo at thirty two for so long. I let me pull this up here because I don't know if we've seen Neo at this level in months. I think this is like a. I mean, it came from like a two dollar stock last year, but let's look at the six month. We haven't seen Neo this low since November too, <laughs> so we're getting huge, uh, huge dips here. I'm really looking at GHVI. If that gets in the eleven dollar range, I'll be pumped to be able to buy that. If Palantir falls under twenty, um, Tesla, heck, Tesla's at five forty six, and we've been waiting for it to fall under six hundred, and now it's just dipping like crazy. Um, squares down 12%. This is the day that there's more blood in the street that I've seen uh, so far. Cause we've seen this backstrop, right? But when's the last time we saw square? I mean, square hit, well, to be honest, square has been up a lot recently. Um, but squares down 12%. When have we seen this? Well, we haven't seen it in the last month. Uh, the last time we saw it this low was December, not even December. We haven't seen it this low since November, midway through November. So I mean, we're seeing we're seeing pullbacks from November all across the board. So if you have cash, of course, like may may not be the best thing to throw all your cash in, but we keep on seeing dips and then more dips and then more dips. Uh this this is a day to go shopping in my opinion. I've been buying all throughout the day. I might have to do some more buying here. But let's let's get to some questions because I, I've talked enough. I have told the people in my Patreon, if you guys want, you can put questions on Patreon in this tab and then and then I'll answer them. It's a lot easier to do this. Uh, so we're just going to go through this. I'll try to be kind of quick because these there are 25 questions here. Uh, do you think the bull market will continue or is this the start of a bear market? So... I don't think there's a real catalyst for this bear market. I mean, it, I think it's a lot of institutions selling, putting puts out there, um, trying to protect downside. But bond yields going up to 1.6 percent. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's really worth a drop of 12 percent in some of these great companies or 20 percent in some of these great companies. Uh, so I think the bull market will continue, but who knows how long this sell-off continues in the meantime. As everything has been falling, do you suggest buying ARK and SEV individual stocks for better risk management? So, yeah, I mean, you can do that. It lowers your risk, but I think it lowers your reward too. Like uh, like if you're buying SFTW, that's at $10.50. If that goes up to $14, $15, you're going to 50% return, but you're not going to probably see that in the ARK funds in the same amount of time. That being said, though, there's more risk in it, like you said, Um uh, if you if you want to de-risk, sure. Um, if you want a little bit higher return, I'm doing individuals. What's the best subscription to get to get second updates on stocks, breaking news? Um, so I don't. Uh, yeah. So he says this is the first Patreon Discord. So I don't use a Bloomberg terminal or Benzinga or anything. I I've been using Weeble, honestly. So there's a link down to Weeble. I'll just say that in case you're interested. Um, I use alerts. I use their new section. You can set alerts. So if a certain stock falls below a certain point, you get alerted. I've been using that. I like it a lot. Uh, I would definitely check that out. There is a link down there in case you want to sign up. It might be the only money you make today. So definitely check that out. Um, not sure about BLSP. Uh, you used to use all your margin before the correction, which means my total asset is shrinking dramatically as the market is going down. Should you sell all your marginable stocks? Uh, so that's tough. I don't use margin. I haven't used margin. Um, if it was me, I would trim some because y you have to make the right call though for what to trim just because you don't want to be called at a bad time on some stocks that are at really good deals. So I think making the judgment call for what you want to sell is probably a 
better thing to do. Now, I'm not selling personally, right? Margin is totally different, but uh, yeah, we covered this question. Sam, here's the SPAC that I think is good, down about to $10 today, BTAQ. Yeah, so I've I've talked about that one before, I think, and I think I've done a video on it actually months ago. Um, there are just a lot of deals at about $10 right now. Uh, he's starting to talk about GGTTF uh, financial education is it seems like a great value for a for a Canadian play or you know can, cannabis play. Uh, yeah, so I've done a, I looked at it yesterday when he mentioned it. Uh, I didn't watch his full video on it yet, but I haven't seen what it's been dipping to today. Uh, it might be a good play though. I mean, I know it's a really small company. If Planet Thirteen is any indication, he talked about that one for months and it went up dramatically. Uh, and I was buying then it's up like 300, 400%, even with this sell off, it's still up that much since last year at this time. So yeah, I might take a look at it. I haven't, I haven't looked really deep into it yet though. Um, okay. Let's see what else. Hello. Uh, hi Adam. Do you think, uh, thank you for all the work you do. I am a Patreon member. How do we see your entire portfolio? So I actually did a portfolio video earlier this week for the Patreon members. I have one coming out this weekend. It's a little bit old now though because uh, I made it Tuesday. So I've been adding a lot to my positions. The market's down a lot since I did that. So it's going to be a little bit off from what I have. But uh, I put that up a few days ago. You can take a look back through. I believe it would be in the um, stocks I'm buying and selling. It's just a back a good amount. What are my thoughts on SLGG? Haven't looked at it. Tesla, uh, yeah, 550. It's pretty attractive. Just remember, it can keep on falling down. This one's been up a lot. When will the hurting stop? Who knows? Uh, if, a if a SPAC is below $10, why wouldn't you buy a billion shares of it? Um, I think it really comes down to the effort level. Let's say it's at $9.98 or something. Technically, technically, you can redeem it. There's certain times that you can do that, though, and that would be less than a 1% upside, right? Uh, so $9.90 up to $10 is 1%. Um, so at $9.98, you're looking at 0.02% if, if you redeem it. So uh, you would run out of cash and you don't get that much for it unless you think it's going to go up past ten dollars so it might be like an automatic little bit of money but it's not guys much upside that's my thinking on it uh am i loading up on some tesla yeah so i bought some yesterday i might buy some more here what are my highest conviction stocks at the moment uh so i'd say a lot of the specs that i've been excited about that are at ten dollars like ghvi is at under $12. I like that one a lot. It still can fall, right? It can fall probably to the 1050 range or so. But I'll continue to buy it on the downs on the way down. SFTW has been flowing around $10.50. These are just recently announced, so they're not merging for a while. So you still have downside protection for a couple months, most likely. So those are the ones I'm really looking at. Those are the ones that I pretty much know aren't going to go down. I mean, they could go down under $10, like I said a minute ago, but the likelihood of that happening is very low. What's happening with COUV? So same thing as what's been happening over the last month or so. Um, hi, Sam. Do you think the negative bond yield on, of China will have a negative effect on NASDAQ? Um, I haven't actually seen that. I haven't looked at that today, that news. But um, I mean, obviously, the NASDAQ's down like 2.5% today. So maybe that's what's causing it a little bit. I think a lot of, like I said, a lot of institutions, I think, are trying to pr quote unquote protect their shareholders by uh, by putting puts out there on the market and then also by selling out of higher risk or higher growth positions. Uh, best strategy, all in cash for the bounce or all in a SPAC? Uh, I would not put it all in cash because, because you don't know when it's going to return, right? We could have, like we're seeing stocks drop 30% today. We could have stocks jump 30% on Monday. Like if market turns green or if there's some news on stimulus and uh, you know, there's just some, there's some catalyst that could happen. And I would hate to, for people to sell out. Of course, like if you're in risky plays, uh, that's maybe not great right now, but I'm not selling out of riskier plays. I'm just either adding more to them or just letting them sit there while I get into some SPACs that are around $10. CTXR is going, it keeps on going down. Can we hold or sell. You can do whatever you want. I'm, I can't tell you what to do. Um, 
I am not I'm not adding right now because these biotechs keep on falling. I added some more TTOO. Um, I might add some more CTXR if it keeps falling. Like some of these biotechs are falling 30%. Uh, last March, REITs had a day where they fell 50 to 60%. And I bought some then, and a lot of them have returned to what they are, uh, to what they were before that. And like, if we start to see that where biotechs are falling 50%, the REITs are different, right though? Cause they're more established. They have real estate. The biotechs are a lot of intellectual property. So it's harder for those to, to really have the same value. Uh, you're, you're buying the IP, the intellectual property, but I, if they keep on falling, I'm going to keep on adding, uh, what makes you invest in AC, AC, IC and quell instead of RTP. Um, so RTP, I'm blanking on what that is off the top of my head. Honestly, uh, let me pull it up here, but, uh, the others, I like AC, IC also, uh, quell is, is one that has a lot of potential upside because they're talking with uh, EVTOL company, Ev Toll, EV Toll, uh, one of those electric vehicle takeoff um, companies. ACIC, same thing. Uh, I think both of those are good. So RTP, if I remember right, is another EVTOL. Uh, I believe, if I remember right, this has a higher uh, a higher valuation on it, if I'm remembering right. So it's like a more, more mature version of ACIC. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure most of these are probably going to go up right now, honestly, because of where the market is. Now I could be wrong. Um, this isn't financial advice. What do you think about SPAC Kappa? I haven't looked at that one. Um, thoughts on AONE? I like it. I like where it's sitting. Um, I haven't gotten into the 3D printing space, though. There isn't really a huge end consumer right now but maybe they scale up, maybe they make them more commercial ready or able to pump out more products and then it's gonna be great. My brother-in-law worked at GM and he said that they had like 30 of these 3D printing machines for the engineers. So maybe that's kind of where that uh, niche is. I have two stocks I sold at an extreme loss. If it continues to drop after I sold, when to when do I buy any strategy? Um, honestly, I'd be continuously buying now uh, because because it could keep on falling, but uh, I would buy uh, like parts of it over time. Can HCMC move over a dollar? Uh, any stock can, but I'm not a big fan of HCMC because it's got such a make or break catalyst. Your thoughts on SENS? I like SENS, but I'm not buying it yet because again, like the biotechs can keep on falling and it's not below my cost basis. I'm still up like 30% on it, but if you've been looking to get into it, you can definitely uh, you can definitely get a better price now than you could a couple months ago when it was at five or six dollars. How safe is BlockFi? Is a good place to park money over there uh, for interest earnings, so I can use that money later for taxes. Let's say, yeah. So you can transfer Bitcoin and then convert it to stablecoin. Yes. Um, so I think it's very safe. Um, I can't. So there's some stuff that I know because I was. Okay, so I, th I think I can say this. I never signed an NDA on it. Uh, someone had reached out to me. They are planning on going public at some point. Um, you can see Coinbase is going public this year too. That is something where they're trying to get a lot of users, so they're giving a very high interest rate. Now, I think they want to continue this. Uh, I think they'll continue to pay a high interest rate afterwards, but uh, that's why they pay a high interest rate now, in my opinion. They also... Uh, they also are backed by some really big people. Like they have $150 million in investments into their company recently. Uh, they're being valued pretty high too. Like they're probably a multi-billion dollar company, honestly, uh, just in my opinion. Like they haven't said this or anything, but uh, I'm using, I'm going to use it for taxes myself. Like I think that's a good play. Now, of course, there's like the 0. 0.00001 chance that it goes bankrupt, but I, I don't think that's a high risk. Um, and again, like I, there's no red signals to me that's saying that there's just always a possibility of that with any company, but I don't see it being an issue, um, or being anything that really deters me. I have, like I said, I have like two thirds of my net worth in it right now. Um, so that's my thought on it. I think it's a good play. I think it's a good place to put money in, in the stable coin, especially if you're saving for taxes. Like I wouldn't put all my money in Bitcoin, uh, for taxes or anything. Cause who knows Bitcoin could go down 20%. Is TTOO a long-term play or short-term play? Um, 
long long term unless it goes up to a stupid high level or price and then I'll sell out. But uh, I added more today. So I'm not looking to sell it tomorrow or anything. I'm not looking to sell any of my stocks tomorrow. Um, thoughts on Apple, ArcG, ArcK, Sen, CPSH, FRSX. So I added FRSX today. CPSH, probably a good one too. I, uh, I've been looking at so many different stocks recently. Like I, I can't remember their valuation and stuff like that. Apple is more of a cash play. So I think Apple's great if you're looking to part cash, but there's so many deals right now. I don't want to throw money in Apple. Like there's so many plays I think could go up 30, 50%. Um, I'm not looking to add $5,000 of Apple and then have it go up 5% over the next month. Our GRK kind of talked about those earlier. Good thing. Uh, good ETFs if you want to diversify sends another one that I talked about earlier. Uh, what happened to TTOO? They actually had good earnings yesterday, uh, but the market's insane. Uh, now, of course, there are probably some other things going on too, but I think that it's a pretty good time to buy, in my opinion. I want to invest 10 to 15K now. Uh, I kind of talked about those. Um, so I And I did a video yesterday, t- stocks, or maybe it was two days ago, stocks with pretty much no downside. That's where I would put them. Uh, what's causing the market crash? Uh, a lot of fear, kind of talked about that earlier, institutions. Uh, what else, what else? What about Pace? No, I sold this a while ago. I think I said that. I think I told everyone that I was selling it. Um, I definitely did because I tell everyone everything. Uh, what are some stocks that you that will make comebacks after the market stops crashing? Talked about that before. I like a lot of SPACs. Uh, why do you think SPACs are getting hit harder than the rest of the market? Do you think Charlie Munger's comments have anything to do with it? I think SPACs are getting hit hard because a lot of people were buying them and they didn't care about valuations. Uh, Less institutions typically, I think, invest in these too. So uh, I, well, I think there are some weaker hands, right? In SPACs because they're people that are just trying to ride the waves up and then they're up 50% and then they sell out when it drops. Um, I think that's probably part of it. Like, a lot of money in Apple probably isn't being sold off. Apple's not getting hit harder. A lot of stop losses are getting hit. Uh, the SPAC market in general is just getting hit hard. Biotech's getting hit hard. Sometimes different markets get hit hard. Um, so maybe that's not a great explanation. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, eventually we're going to have to come to realization the realization that not every SPAC can go up from 10 to 20. And we've seen that this year, right? We've seen less SPAC mania. But I think that a lot of these specs are still at good values. Look at ACIC and SFTW, or look looks like they're at rock bottom. Do you think it's a good time to accumulate on these specs? Yes. Um, and I talked about the ten dollar thing. Just spent all my money, but it's going down nonstop. Yeah. So let's let's take a look one last time at what's happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at what, some deals right now. Now Bitcoin is actually holding up. Ethereum is actually holding up. Again, link down to BlockFi in case you want to check out that link uh, to see to, to invest in cryptocurrencies and get an interest rate. Now, the VIX is actually not going up that much, which is surprising, but the market is continuously selling off. Selling off. SFTW at 1055, still at a good price. Um, not at the 1030 that we bought it at yesterday, but not terrible at all by any means. Uh, GHVI down to about 12. So actually up from that 1150 we saw earlier. Tesla at 563. So a little bit of a jump here. What else? Palantir 22. Okay, so a little bit of a jump. Should have bought at the beginning of the video. Uh, Sidious still down 14%. uh, $2.50. Charge point over 20 now. FRSX at 512. So that one's coming back a little bit. Clean Sparks at 19. So still pretty low there. STPK 19% down. So pretty much all time lows or, you know, lows for the day. I mean, TTOO, T2 Biosystems 27% down. Sends 23% down. Yeah. So a lot of red. Um, All my stuff still stands from earlier. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll get some more green next week or, you know, another day of red. Who knows? Uh, and be able to pick up some more deals. Again, like the SPACs can only, I think, will only fall to the 10 to 10.50 range, $10.50 range. But a lot of these other stocks, the biotechs, the big tech, they can fall more. So just be careful out there. Uh, I'm not selling out. I'm not 
selling all my stocks or anything like that. I keep on adding more. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.